Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So today we're gonna to be doing the seat and the good old Mini Cooper. Now it's um it's been a little while, and maybe you got a little hint there for a second, but you probably could see um something has changed in the Mini Cooper. Um, it's been a little while since I have like last recorded the video, and hope you guys do understand. A lot of things been happening this last couple of weeks, um, and this is just how it's been. And I finally got some time today to go ahead and put the seat in the car. Now I won't be able to put the uh, harness in, but I'll go ahead and show you the harness. Now this is not gonna be the harness I'm probably gonna be using for a very long time, but it's gonna be temporary. And it's uh, it's, it's good. It's purple. You already know it's purple. And um, I'm gonna begin like sparkle ones very soon. They kind of match the seats. But this is kind of just temporary to see how I really like like the four point harness. Um, but uh, yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead, guys, and show you the very special roll cage. We already got a paint and everything like that. It's already installed, and I was kind of, I'm kind of excited. Uh, yeah, that's the that's an awesome roll cage. Now there is a, a lot of mess in here. There's a lot of wires. I had to take the panels out, sadly, um, and I had to figure what I'm gonna do with that. But I'm planning to put a, a flat, kind of like a rear seat delete, um, what they call them. I'm gonna make my own and make it kind of custom for like how my sub will fit and all that kind of stuff. So it'll look really, really cool. It's kind of more of like a plan on the side. But uh, yeah, this is a blue metallic. Now I do not have the color code for you guys, but um, it's. It is a very, very, very pretty blue, and I love it because it matches the uh, good old brake calipers back here. But um, yeah, there's a lot of things that are going on right now. So hopefully this amp right here will also be able to go right in the middle right here. That's what I'm planning to do. And uh, it looked really nice. And, uh, you know, uh, you might be asking, why am I having a, a blue <laughs> a blue roll cage with purple uh, harness? Uh, I just want to, okay? Just just don't don't ask. Okay. So, um, the first thing we're gonna have to do to get this seat out of here is I'm gonna go ahead and loosen the bolts that are right here. There should be four bolts on this front and two on the back. And I'm gonna figure those out very quick, but the easiest way to do it, it's gonna be really hard for me, especially these two front ones, because I can only go so far back. Um that was kind of my fault doing that, but uh hopefully I can still do this with the roll cage in here. But yeah. Let's go ahead and try not if you guys have not seen the previous video of me unboxing the Sparko seats here it is a reclinable leather nice seat and uh it looked really good i'm really excited to kind of like finish like it looked good with all the like black interior of the car as well so i'm pretty excited so let's go ahead figure the seat and get it out of there and then we'll hopefully put this together with the seat bracket the seats are a T40. Now these are already kind of loose because the roll cage guys, how they take this, the front seats out, they get this in. But uh, yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and get the seats out. Um, there's four of them and there's gonna be wires underneath this. So be careful to just yank it out and you might lose, like, pull a wire out, but uh, yeah. So go ahead and uh, undo your battery. Just in case um, any electrical problems happen, do that. Make sure you do that. Now I figured out how to take this bottom plug out so this black piece right here you gotta pull it out oh there it goes okay so that's all you gotta do so you just gotta pull this black out this black piece out and then it should just connect we are ready to pull this whole entire guy out that chair is way heavier than that chair holy crap <laughs> all right so now let's go ahead and open up this box right here. So this box is the seat bracket. The driver's side, so here we go. This simple little piece of metal. Looks good. All right, so this right here has to connect to the bottom of that and the bottom of my adjustable railing. Day two. All right, so it is the next day now, and um, I had to go and get some nuts for the bolts because the bolts now nuts, and I forgot them. But it's the next day now. I have the seat out. I have the carpets and everything vacuumed up already, so it looks good. Now we're gonna go ahead and get the seat railing done, like I said I was gonna do. Put it on here. Put the seat mount on, and then we can put this bad boy into the car finally. So I'm gonna go ahead. 
Start putting the railing back on here, and then we can get going on this. Put the seats in the car and then kind of adjust it to make sure these bolts and stuff like that will line up with the normal harness and stuff that we have already. But let's go ahead and put this in the car and we can see how it looks. Day three. All right, guys. So now we are back here for the third day in a row to finally finish this dang seat. Now I did have to go to um, the store and get multiple bolts and to get everything like finalized, all that kind of stuff with the seat. But we're here now. So let me show you what I've done. So I've had to go ahead and get different bolts for under here. Now I don't know if I'm doing this right. Maybe I'm doing it wrong. I do 100% truly do not know. But I put new bolts down here. The ones that before, if I can freaking move the seat, Lord. Add these before. These are pretty dang long. Um, so basically what I did is I got like half of the size and it is a M8 one and a quarter. I th pretty sure that's what it is. The bolt is a M8 one and a quarter. So if you're ever looking for it, there you go. Um, I saved you hopefully some time, just save you some time whatsoever doing things. But we're going to finish this today. We're going to go ahead and put the good old fashioned four point harness in right now. But um, yeah, so right now everything's bolted down. I got um, I got washers on the bolts as well. Everything's doing really well. So I also need to put these on as well and then take the seat belt off. So let's go ahead and take off the rubber bands that are on this. And this is going to be the, uh, the first one on here. So this is what's gonna be going over through the seat right here through the for the harness. It's gonna be my chest piece here and it goes straight down now what i'm gonna be doing for this is i'm gonna be having these this point here can go right down here into the, this old seat belt point there's just there's an exact little spot right here where the buckle is supposed to go um in case you didn't do a harness which i'm doing so uh if you do want to this is what i'm doing i'm putting the other harness end where the buckle is supposed to be at and uh yeah so that's what i'm doing so let's go ahead and get everything like all set up and then I'll show you guys what I'm gonna do. So update, here we go. So this is what it looks like right here. It looks really nice. The only thing about this though is that the bolt does uh, does not like fully go in, but it's still really tight though. It's a really good sign. And then right here, this is Zach was talking about the little buckle spot we have right here. It's probably supposed to be for the buckle like this over here. But uh, yeah, it, it's not like that. I thought I, it's not separate at all. It's like a whole term mechanism for it. So it's not able to put it in there, but it's okay because we have this now. Now this is pretty tight too. I can't do anything with it. So uh, yeah, here we go. This is also really tight as well. So all I'm gonna do is just tuck this under and now it's time to fit it for my size. Well guys, that's gonna be it for the video. Hope you guys did enjoy it. Make sure if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button down below and the like button as well. Um, if you do have any more questions of the sorts, let me know down in the comment section below. This fits really well. I'm actually kind of like, like surprise of how well this works and uh, how well it looks in the car. It looks really sick. And um, I'm planning to show you guys a bit more of a back there. Um, but um, there'll be another video showing you what I'm gonna be doing with that back. It's gonna be awesome and I have a lot of cool plans coming forward. So be prepared for that. Why should subscribe, wink, wink. And I'm also gonna be doing the bumper as well soon for the car because there's some little things I wanna do to make the bumper and the front of the car look a million times better. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.